Chances are, most people don't give a first or second thought about where their food has been or where it's from. But the consumer has the right to know what they're eating in its process, from the farm to the factory and finally to your fingers. Corporate businesses have industrialized farming. It's not about quality anymore, it's about profit. Small, hard-working farmers bound by contracts are paid very little by large companies and are usually indebted to them. Harmful chemicals and pesticides are spread on crops that contribute to agricultural runoff, contaminating our waterways. Farm animals like cows, chickens, and pigs are treated cruelly too. Chickens are given growth hormones to grow at an accelerated rate. Many become crippled from their own weight while they are packed into cages. Cows are fed corn to fatten them up while they stand in their own manure. This increases the risk of E. coli. Many slaughterhouses are unsanitary and cruel. And meat processing plants are severely underregulated. Recently, the U.S. Department of Agriculture has been so sure on inspectors that meat labeled USDA inspected may never have been inspected at all. Once food is packaged and shipped to stores, labels are often misleading and deceiving. The government has minimal, lenient requirements that allow companies to label their packaging with pleasing labels. The problem is, most Americans don't realize what is happening behind grocery store walls. Outbreaks of E. coli, salmonella, and other bacterial contamination threaten the public health of America. In 1993, Kevin, a two-year-old, died from eating a tainted burger from Jack in the Box. He was the first death of the E. coli outbreak that affected many. Change may take a while, but you can make a difference. Buying food locally allows you to have better insight on how your food made it to the store, plus it supports the local economy. Becoming educated on this topic is crucial as well. The more people who are aware of the inhumanity and injustice surrounding America's food system are more apt to spreading the word and making a difference.